Batiste Patrick. She's running for the state assembly seat of the, in the 57th, 52nd district in the state of California. She's the Southern California representative for the federal, I cannot say the word Frederick today, for the Fred, Frederick Douglass Foundation. <laughs> Um, she's dedicated her life to reaching a population on the margins by providing educational and employment opportunities that help individuals become productive members of society. Uh, Gwen is here today with her husband Charles. They have five adult children and two granddaughters. So let's welcome Gwen. Hello, everybody. Let's give religious freedom a hand. Praise God. My name is Gwen Patrick. I was born and raised a Catholic. I married a Baptist man and I live for Jesus every day. All right, all right. God be the glory. My husband and I have been married for 37 years and we share everything. So I'm gonna give him the first minute of my three minutes, amen. Come on, honey, go on, at least say hi. Hello everyone, I'm here with my wife. She didn't, this is the impromptu. I'm just excited to be here. I believe in religious freedom. I've been passionate for over 20 years and I believe that everyone has a right to practice their religion without any encumbrances from anyone, without anybody telling them what to do. Do what God commands you to do, in Jesus' name. Amen. As you can tell, we are fired up. We drove here from L.A., however many hundreds of miles are going and coming. All right, to stand with you today, this is important. This is about life. This is about what God's mandate is in each and every one of our hearts. You know, Brad Dacus on his website uh, said, Religious freedom in America has never been so threatened. Never. Just to remind you a little bit, DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, in jeopardy. We are here, my husband and I, 37 years, five kids. I'm here as a mom and a grandma. We have three children that came to your fair Northern California and graduated from Cal Berkeley. We have one of those sons right now that went and graduated from Harvard. He is one of the leading scientists in the world, I'm told. And he told me, Mom, I'm one of the leading scientists in the world. Right? <laughs> you know, neurobiology. And yet, it broke my heart as my husband and I have raised our kids to fear and honor God and love his word, for him to stand there and say, you know what, I don't care what you say, I'm going to vote for Obama. Some of you out there may be parents and you're dealing with kids too that have graced the, inst the liberal institutions of this nation that have forgotten that the reason that they have uh, ascended to the position that they have in the free United States was because of the religious freedom that their parents had to tell them about God. We've got to decide that we are going to stand for what is right and what is righteous. There are bills even now, SB 1172, where Christian counselors are under attack for sharing the truth of Christ's ability to transform the lives of young people that were struggling with gender disorientation. And we know about the Class Act, how classrooms in California become hostile toward parents' rights to protect their children. The time is now, and some of you might not know, but now is all we have. Now is zero to five seconds of conscious awareness. Zero to five seconds. That's the place where you make a choice in your own life. Zero to five seconds is the place where, we'll go, where we won't sit back anymore and let our local state and federal government do the job of training our children and giving moral standards. We are not in our zero to five seconds going to allow them to force their way into our homes and rob our children of their innocence, are we? No! We are not going to allow a government that mandates compromise of our core religious values, are we? No! We are not going to allow a government to remove our authority as parents to protect our children from curriculum that advocates sexual promiscuity and, re and rebellion, are we? No! We are not going to allow our government that will force our Christian doctors and nurses to perform abortions and operations that violate their conscience, are we? No! 
brothers and sisters, in the book of St. John, chapter 9, verse 4, Jesus himself says, I must work the works of him while it is day, for night comes when no man can work. Night is coming, brothers and sisters. Let us take our now, let us take our zero to five seconds to make a decision, a conscious choice, that I'm going to pick up the phone, I'm going to write that letter, I'm going to do what God has called me to do, I'm going to vote God in 2012, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to maintain the freedom of blessing that God has given to America. We won't go without a fight. Amen? Amen. God bless you.